So we made it just from an idea to the whole short movie just in four minutes. All right, I'm Annie from Open Creator, and I'm going to give you a quick demo of Open Creator. So once you sign up or log in, you will line on this product homepage. And here you'll find everything you need to get started quickly. So this is a tutorial video. It means even if you close this video now, you can always find me here. And we've also got four product tutorials from beginner to advanced. And let's be honest, most people don't watch the whole video, right? So let's check one of them. So if you go through this, we have notes here, we have results here, you'll pretty much know how to use Open Creator 2. And if you're in a hurry, we also have some pre-made templates here. And let's check one, maybe like Scream to Film. And in the templates, you can edit the templates, whatever you want, or you can replace some words. Yeah, you can uh, edit whatever. And it will save a copy in your projects. And if you prefer reading or watching, we've got a user guide to help you out. Yeah. And oh, assets. So if you click assets, every results you generate will be stored in assets. So you never have to worry about losing your work. And let's get back here and move on to the most important guy. You can say create new workflow. There are two buttons here and either of these two buttons works. And let's click one of them. And this one will take you to this canvas page. Again, we click this little guy and you'll find on the left, you've got a sidebar with all the blocks you can use. And don't worry, I will go through them one by one. So first up, input blocks. You have text input here and image input. And input blocks are where you put in whatever you need the AI to work with. So it means input blocks don't generate anything. They just hold the content. It means maybe you can cut whatever you want the AI to maybe generate a cute cat or whatever you want, or maybe you can upload the image that you want. So they just hold the content, but do not generate the content. So this is input block. And next is text-based blocks. And this is where the fun begins. You will find text generator here and the text splitter. And about text generator, you can just think of it as a writing assistant. There is a box, right? Creative instruction. What that mean? It means you can write down everything you want. Any instructions like your writer, give me a story, or help me chase a handsome boy and so on. And you can also write down on this. Let me show you. You can also write down in this input block and connect them together. You see text, right? And you see green color. You just find the same color and connect them together. And that means the instruction here will be sent it over to the text generator. And let's test it out. Okay, it's done. And let's see what else in this text generator. We also find there's choose AI model. What's this mean? You know, in Open Creator, you're not stuck with one AI model anymore. You can choose, you can click add models and you can choose multiple models at the same time. You know, normally you'd have to copy and paste your prompt across different platforms to compare results. But with Open Creator, you can do it all in one place. So let's choose them all. It's, uh, wait. And you can see there is a run button and let's hit run and see what will happen. Okay, so the results will appear on the button of this block. Okay, so it looks like it's done. And you can find the error, uh, we choose all the models, right? And you can find the results from those models. And you will find this beautiful little guy. Compare all. And let's click it. And this button is help you to instantly compare the results from different models. GPT-4, Crossonate. Haiku Gemini, and you can also switch the views, the gallery views to see more details of the results. Okay, so this is text generator. And let's move on to the text bleater. I know the name might not be immediately clear what it does, right? Text bleater, what it means. But let's picture this. So we already have a, uh, wait for a moment. So we already have a long script, right? This is our script, we assume that. And if you want to have a storyboard, like this storyboard, we firstly have to break the script into logical sections so that each scene aligns perfectly, right? So that's why we have this block, text splitter. 
So here we go. This is a script we just generated, and we find a uh, cloud Sony is really good, right? So we select the results that the text generator generated, and the same we connect the same color, same text, and hit run. It means uh, the results from text render will send this instruction over to the text splitter, and we hit run. And very quickly, it's done. Let's do this and compare them together. And this text splitter breaks this long script into the smaller pieces. So now this split text is really ready for the next step. It means storyboard. Okay, so now you know the basics. You know the input blocks, you know text space blocks, right? And also you know how to write down the instruction and how to connect the same color, how to add different models together, and also you know how to hit run. So now we can move a bit faster. And let's check out image-based blocks. And firstly, we have three types here. Image generator, style image generator, and image to prompt. And maybe image generator is easier to understand, so we look at the other two first. About style image generator, what this for? Actually, it's designed to help you create multiple images with a consistent visual style. Let's zoom in a little bit. You can find two styles. It means you can pick many different styles and compare them instantly, like, uh, wow, this is so cute. I love picture book and the fashion spotlight, studio portrait, wow. And we just use a very simple words like cat. People love cat, right? And we just hit run. Yeah, it's done already. And we also have this compare all. We just click this. You know, the most amazing thing about this block is that you can get pretty consistent style. You see like this why it's so cool. And even with the simplest, you know, just cat this instruction. Yeah, so this is style image generator. And let's move on to image to prompt. Now this one is so easy. It just describe your image. So let's use this one, image input. You remember that image input help you to upload a picture to let AI do the work for you. So we just, you know, the blue one. So we just connect them together and upload maybe whatever a picture, maybe a monkey. Okay, so we just try to describe this image and we just hit run. Also, you can find many models to help you describe this image and we just choose GPT-4. Okay, it's done. And let's see if it's right. We compare them together. And yeah, uh, the image features a chimpanzee or a person wearing a chimpanzee mask presented in a stylish and fashionable setup. Yeah, so the... AI help you to describe this image. Okay, so now we just get back to the, you remember that we have image generator, the basic image generator one. So what this image generator for? Actually, this block is super great when you want a style of your own, or you wanna have more control over details. You remember uh, style image generator is help to, if you have a very simple instruction and it can add some, a consistent, a consistent style to your image, but this image generator one can let you have more control and to generate a style of your own. So let me show you that. Let's continue to the previous workflow. You remember we have a Hollywood sci-fi story and we have a long script, sorry, and we make the long script into smaller pieces. So we choose all the smaller pieces and we connect them together and write down some instructions here like Okay, so this time we choose, yeah, the default is Minimax Hello Image and Flux, and we just choose this. And you can see on the image generator, we have aspect ratio. And since we're making film storyboard, so let's keep it 16 by 9, and we just hit run. The same, we choose compare all, right? And wow. Well, I think it's, it looks pretty good and uh, we see the gallery we can see the gallery here you can find different models and also wow it's i think it's so wow it's so cool i think min max is 
has done a pretty good job on movie making. It's pretty good. It's be before open creator, maybe you have to uh, switch many platforms and maybe uh, pay many subscriptions and many copy pasting so that you can see the different results from different models. But now in open creator, you just need one click. Right, you just click from different models here and just compare all. You can see uh, different models together. So it's very easy to compare. So now we already have a long script, right? And we split them into smaller pieces and we have images, the storyboard. So what's next? I want it to become a short movie. So finally, let's introduce video based blocks. And by now, I believe you know the drill. Just select the results and the same, connect the same color together. And maybe also some little creative instruction like, and also here you can choose different AI models. So now let's click one to see what will happen. All right, the same. You can see the preview on the results page. And also you can click compare all to see every single video. So, all right, so up to now you made a simple idea and step-by-step step, turn it into a pretty solid long script and breaks into smaller pieces and uh, storyboard images and even videos. I think not bad, right? And also you can find this black button. So instead of running each block manually, click global run to run everything at the same time and stop it anytime. And every new user get free credits to start. And even if you run out, you can just click get results. You know, we're just pay as you go. So no subscriptions, just $5 to get 500 more credits and you decide how much you may need. And also you can find our discord here. So if you want tips, tricks, or just some AI generated memes or work, or just want to complain that AI cannot read your mind. So this is your place. And anyway, we'd love to have you there and come say hi. All right. I think that's it for today. And thank you. Take care and have fun. Bye.